On today's episode, we find a giant garter snake on the trail. It's definitely the biggest one we've ever seen, but is it a record breaker? We'll take a closer look as she tries to bite Jesse at least 20 different times. We had a really cold night last night. It got nearly into the 40s, unseasonably cold for the end of June. So we knew after a cold night, it was getting into the 70s today. So in theory, we thought this would be a great day to come out and look for snakes. And so we got out on the trail. Uh, we spent about 25 miles on the trail, almost no luck. Uh, we ran into one box turtle and uh, no snakes to speak of at all till I stopped by this creek just to hop on some rocks. And all of a sudden I saw in the bushes what I thought was about the thickness. <laughs> Look at her go. Thought it was about the thickness. Hey, <laughs> get back here, girl. Thought it was about the thickness. Look at her go, guys. <laughs> She's so impressive. Hey, get back here, yo. I know. Oh my goodness, you're gorgeous. Oh, she is so defensive. <laughs> She's trying to bite my face off. Oh, pal, relax. So I knew she was about the thickness of a big rat snake, but had a stripe down her back like a garter. And I said to Kenny, Kenny's with me on the right. I said, Kenny, I just saw the biggest garter snake I have ever seen. As I was looking for her, I was not able to catch her. The habitat we're in has venomous snakes in it. And so I did not want to jump into the vegetation to, uh, to try to catch her tail normally I don't mind grabbing a garter on uh, gently like I'll show you kind of what I do is I take my whole hand ouch and you just take your whole hand and you press the whole hand gently down there it's a good way to hold them and even if they bite you like she's bitten me a few times <laughs> Even if she bites me a few times, it's not a big deal. But what you want to do is be very gentle with the snake because they have spine and ribs the whole way down. You don't want to injure them. So watch this. You just gently, see how I gently spread my weight all over that girl? Oh my gosh, she is so active for the camera. This garter snake is so big. So anyway, when I first saw her, I just saw her disappearing into the vegetation. And I wasn't able to grab her because I, I couldn't see where I was grabbing. And I didn't want to reach down and put my hand on a copperhead or something that I didn't notice. And so I had a couple chances to get her as I saw her tail going through the bushes, never had a safe chance to grab till finally she got under a rock. And I thought, man, wonder if that garter snake was as big as I thought she was. She is so defensive right now. Um, but anyway, we, we did a couple more miles on the trail, decided to circle back and see if she came back out to bask. And sure enough, she was right back out. She had, um, she went under the rock when we first saw her. Oh, she's so pretty. Uh, she was under the rock when we first saw her. And when we came back out, she was hanging out right near that rock where she had disappeared. And so I, so I had a chance to get her. Uh, and she did, she did tag me a bunch of times. <laughs> See, I have just a tiny little bit of blood there. All these scratches on my hand here, these are from, from a snapping turtle uh, that I helped move off the road a couple days ago. Uh, not, it's, it's just from the, uh, that's just from the claws of the snapping turtle. Anyway, so I did have a chance to pick her up and bring her over here. I thought, gosh, she's so beautiful and she really is enormous. Uh, it's really fun to see garter snakes this size. And of course she's very active. So it's super fun to see them being active. And one thing I, I like to show people, they wonder why are we out here kind of provoking the snakes or teasing the snakes? Well, one of the points of doing these videos is just to show you that you don't need to be afraid of snakes, uh, but a bite from a snake like this is not a big deal. Now, if you get bitten by a chipmunk, if you get even bitten by a, like a little mouse or a rat, those are significant teeth. They have teeth that are made to bite acorns apart and chew through wires and all kinds of dangerous things. These teeth, they have teeth that are big enough to hold on to a frog, big enough to hold on to a, a frog or a fish or a toad. Um, so they don't have teeth that are big enough to do a lot of damage to you. So when I get home, I mean, yeah, so there's a couple little bites on here. You can see barely broke the skin and that's a pretty large garter snake to be doing that kind of a bite. But when I get home, maybe before I leave the trail, wash off with soap and water, the easiest way to recognize a garter snake, you're going to see that. <laughs> well, they're not biting you or they're not trying to escape. Get back here, girl. I know. Come here, girl. I know you just want to bask in the sun. You probably have some babies you need to have here soon. So we're going to be gentle with you, obviously. Um, but look at that stripe that goes from head to tail. You can see that 
all the way from the head down to the tail look at her go now what is sometimes confusing about garter snakes is from a distance you guys are going to notice of course that stripe from head to tail but let's take a look at them up close right if she stops biting us sharing now she's just like chomping me like crazy quit it you we're trying to show people your features so all right from the top stripe from head to tail from the sides look those aren't stripes lots of actual beautiful colors and notice as she contracts her scales as she's breathing you even see some of those colors disappear do you see that just happen reappear and so um if you look closely there's a lot of skin between those scales look at as she contracts the scales go back together see if she breathes in there they go look at that guys so you can see lots of skin in between the scales so if she is completely stretched out like that look at all that extra color all that color disappears so the different colors can appear and disappear as she breathes as she contracts uh, as she inhales and exhales that's all that's happening she's inhaling and exhaling um, you'll notice usually with garter snakes some pretty stripes right on the sides of their face those vertical stripes right that go right above her mouth and that's something similar you'll see on water snakes one way you can tell water snakes and copperheads apart you'll see water snakes just like the garter snakes have those vertical stripes right above their lips hey guys so here i am and <laughs> here is this enormous garter snake of course now she She's just trying to bite my face. And I don't mind, actually, if she bites my nose. I really don't want her to bite my eyes, though. That would not be good. So that's the only thing I get a little bit worried about. But she sees my mouth moving. So to her, I probably look like something that is about to eat her. So she, I need to be kind of careful. If someone, let's say like a big bear or something, was this close to me, uh, trying to take a selfie video with me and opening his mouth, I probably wouldn't know he's just trying to do an educational video about me. I would probably assume he's trying to eat me too. So that's probably the reason that she's in here lunging at me. Snake keeps trying to escape. I don't blame her. We are, oh good, now she's looking at you guys. That's much better. Oh, now she's climbing over. Uh, <laughs> This snake is so much fun. Look at her just lunging at me. Uh, this has been a very fun snake. And guys, you notice I like to do this stuff on the ground because it's going to help support her weight. We don't want to put any stress on her spine, uh, on her backbone, on her ribs. If you ever look at a snake skeleton, um, I'll put a picture of a snake skeleton in the YouTube version of this video so you can see just how fragile they are. It's not something you want to pick up by the tail and whip around. It's not something you want to put your foot on really sharply. But look what I'm going to do here just gently again. Support. See how that whole hand is on there? Spreading out the pressure gently to hold her in one place. I'm going to pick her up in front of me just so you guys can get an idea of how big she is. But in doing this, I want to be very gentle with her. So I want to be very careful to try to support her weight. It's always hard to support a snake's weight when you are stretching them out. So be careful with stretching them out. And don't be one of these people that pins a snake behind the head to pick it up. How would you feel if someone was pinning your head? Right away, you'd wanna get out of it. So please don't pin a snake's head to pick it up. If you're gonna pin a snake's head, guys, don't pick it up. If you're going to handle something like a garter snake, make sure you do it gently. Let their head free so they don't get hurt. Oh, come here, girl. All right, let me. Let me stretch her out, guys. I'm going to stretch her out just so you can see how big she is because she really is one of the biggest garter snakes I've handled. My goodness, she's so huge. I love these snakes. They really are a lot of fun. But this, no doubt, is the biggest garter snake I've ever found on this trail. So that makes it really fun. A lot of times trails are not good places to find giant snakes because with a lot of foot traffic, a lot of bicycle traffic, the bigger snakes get run over. Unfortunately, they just don't last that long and the little ones tend to survive better so anyway we're going to spend a little bit of time stretching this one out so you guys can appreciate her size oh boy she is not breaking eye contact with me i don't know if you guys can tell she is just staring me down oh boy this is fun all right well let me pick her up actually i'll get kenny's help to pick her up hey ken you want to help film while we oh there's kenny back there kenny you want to say hi to everyone so um, Kenny has been with me today. We're on almost 25 miles. Why don't you get a shot of her? Cause she's probably gonna bite me when I pick her up. We'll see if she does. Oh, come here girl, oh my goodness. This, that's how big she is. When I saw her, when I first picked her up. Whew. See if we can get her stretched out on me. See, you have that and you 
See, really, guys, I, I just hope both teams had fun. Um, <laughs> no, actually, I want to win. That's that's the way I really feel about that. Um, but anyway, so you can see, wow, look at her, guys. She is just showing us all that mouth. Hey, pal, how are you, buddy? Oh, uh, she's <laughs> she's all bark and no bite. Well, okay, there was a little bite. She did bite me like probably 20 times <laughs> so far. <laughs> look at that. It'll make that 21 times. Um, but let's just try to stretch her out a little bit. You can see if we gently put her against me, that'll help spread out her weight with her tail. Wish I had a measuring tape right here, but I think this snake's probably 24, maybe 30 inches. Very big snake. Let's, um, let's take a measurement of her along the bike because the bike is something we can measure later. So here's what we're going to do, guys. We're gonna measure, we're gonna measure her on the crossbar of this bike. And then later when I do the YouTube version, we will actually take a measurement of the crossbar and see exactly how long the crossbar was. Usually the longer you handle a snake, the more they relax, the more they realize they're not being hurt, they're not being predated. So see if we could get her on here again. Okay, so fairly straight on the crossbar to right where my thumb is. Okay, so we're gonna start, remember where my thumb is here. I'm gonna start that measurement again. Oh my goodness. So, let's try to remember this. We'll make a mark. When we measure the crossbar, the snake went from here all the way to here, then again from here and back. So, we're going to have to find a way to mark this up. Maybe we'll just take a rock here, see if we can make that mark on the bike. All right, we're doing it. So, I might scratch my pain a little bit, but it'll be worth it. So, I really want to know how big this garter snake was. We're going to come back and we're going to measure from here to here that entirety and then again from this mark to this mark and we're going to find out how big that snake was i'm going to guess she's about 28 or 30 inches that's going to be my guess all right guys we have just found one of our biggest garter snakes ever on this trail i think she's a big gravid female that means a pregnant female garter snakes have live babies like water snakes copperheads rattlesnakes boa constrictors a lot of snakes have live babies even though many other ones have eggs we're gonna go put this girl back. I'm gonna put her on some boulder piles. After a long, cold night last night, she probably still wants to warm up. So thank you guys for giving reptiles a chance. I'm gonna steal this from Kenny. Thank you, Kenny. You wanna wave bite everyone? All right, and I'm going to go release her right back here in the rocks. Gonna give you guys a chance to watch the release. You can see these nice boulders all over the place. And this is why I did not wanna reach in here when I first saw her, because when you have this kind of habitat, you just cannot always see the vegetation edges, what is basking there. You cannot always see, and there's little crevices between all the rocks. It looks like nothing's there until you get closer. It could be a copperhead or a rattlesnake or something like that basking right down in the crevices that you don't even see until it's too late. So here's what I'm gonna do, guys. Make sure where you're putting your feet anytime you're walking this kind of stuff. Emergent vegetation along boulder piles is great snake habitat. So just be careful where you put your feet. I'm going to put this snake right back here at the edge. You can see where she can go. She has to choose between all of this vegetation, this emergent vegetation along the boulder piles. She can choose wherever she wants to go. Here we go. Ready, guys? Here's the release. Bye, girl. Come on. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous snake. So big. Look at her, guys. You can't even see where she went. She's gone. And right now I see her. Perfect, guys. Looks like she's staying put under some vegetation. She's not even hiding under the rocks yet. So that means we can leave. We're going to walk away right now. We're not going to scare her anymore. Kenny, that was a pretty cool snake, wasn't it? All right, let me flip it around. I'll say bye to you guys. Thanks everyone for hanging with us. Hope you enjoyed meeting my record garter snake on this trail. Well, like I said, when we get back later today, we're gonna measure that notch there that we marked on the bike, on the crossbar, and we're gonna know exactly how big that was. So too. One of the best resources I like to look at in Pennsylvania for our reptiles and amphibians is a site called paherps.com. So according to paherps.com, garter snakes don't get very big. Let's take a look at this. According to the PA Herps website, 
Eastern garter snakes in Pennsylvania get somewhere between 20 and 28 inches. Now I'm willing to bet the one that we saw, remember my guess was about 30 inches. So let's take some measurements with what we marked out on the bike. Our Pennsylvania garter snakes are supposed to be between 20 and 28 inches. I'm willing to bet that we at least broke that record. Let's take a look at the bike. Now we can find our bikes. If you remember, okay, that entire crossbar, the garter snake took up the entire crossbar, plus we made this mark right here. So it took up the entire crossbar, plus from this mark to this area. You can see right here, the entire crossbar is about 22 inches, right? Plus from here to the end of the crossbar, is another 14. So that means 22 plus 14. Can you do the math, boys and girls? That garter snake was 36 inches. Yeah! Well, I'm glad we got to meet and measure that giant, beautiful garter snake. Here are a couple of the other garters that we find along the trail that are a lot closer to average size, about 12 to 24 inches. As you can see, most of the snakes that we find here along the trail are a lot smaller. So even if ours was not a world record, she certainly was one of the biggest ones we will ever see on this trail. Garter snakes are one of the most common, most variable, and most widely distributed snakes across North America. I enjoyed this article by Jonathan David on everythingreptiles.com that showed 21 different kinds of garter snakes you can find from coast to coast. As you can see, they're highly variable throughout their different habitats. That's why our different field guides were showing different size estimates. If you're talking about garter snakes in general, well, some of the big ones do get over four feet, but most of the garter snakes actually stay under two feet. So as ours weighed in or measured in around 36 inches, she was actually a very large garter snake Certainly for Pennsylvania, she is one of the biggest. Well, I hope you enjoyed checking out these garter snakes, and I hope if you see some out there, you enjoy taking their pictures. This unbelievable red-sided garter snake was photographed in California by a herper named Justin Dole. Let us know in the comments, where are you finding your garter snakes, and what's the biggest one you've ever found? Sometimes we pick them up, sometimes we just like to photograph them, but every time we find a garter snake, it always is a lot of fun. Thanks for giving reptiles a chance.